Good afternoon, welcome back. So I have been playing around with these limp bindings um, because they offer a lot of room for creativity and experimentation, I guess you would say. Um, and so I have made three more since the last video and I'm going to take them one at a time and tell you about them. So this is very similar to the other one that I made uh, that was in the previous video. It's got the same peg and frog closures. The difference, biggest difference here is this herringbone end band that is sewn over the primary end band. Uh, the primary end band, as you may recall, was tied down to every signature and was usually in the same white thread that you used to sew. But in this one, you take two different colors of thread and you're sewing around that end band. You're not tying it down at all. So it, it's kind of an interesting way to do things. The other thing that I was playing around with <coughs> was uh, content. And the Gutenberg project, if you're not familiar with it, has a lot of uh, old classics and, and books uh, that are out of copyright available for download. And you can download those uh, to your computer, uh, reformat, change the font, font size, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Save it as a PDF. And then there's a little program called Booklet Creator where you tell it how many of those PDF pages you want per signature and it aligns everything so that you print it out in the way that you want. And Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorites. I like to reread it periodically. And my favorite um, movie version of it is the one with Kira Knightley. So I took some screenshots from that movie and interspersed them in here to give some uh, illustrations to the book. The old-fashioned illustrations are fine, but I just wanted to do something a little different and more personal since this will be something that I will, over the years, read and reread. So you can kind of see how that worked out. I printed it on Mohawk Superfine paper, so the pictures came out fine. They're not as clear and sharp as a photography paper, but it's a, a nice weight paper and, and, it's, and it's good for a book that you're going to read. And, you know, this is a pretty chunky little baby, but it, it feels good in the hand and it, and it works well. Then I decided, okay, well, I, vellum is very expensive and people have a real confusion about vellum. The vellum that I'm talking about is not the paper vellum. It's sort of a translucent paper that you buy on Amazon. It's actually an animal skin and it's, it's quite expensive and there's only one tannery in the United States that I have been able to find called Pergamina in New York that actually still does the process. So that could be quite cost prohibitive but I still want to play around more with lip binding so I tried using this type of paper. It's called Texoprint. I think it was designed by Galen Berry who's a marbler in uh, California I believe. But anyway, the um, Texoprint, which is, is sold uh, at Hollanders, is a type of paper that marbles really well, but it's also got some characteristics where it's a little bit like Tyvek in that it doesn't tear easily, and you can actually take a damp cloth and wipe it off, and it doesn't cockle or wrinkle. So I did a similar uh, binding, but on this one, as you saw me taking off, I have a sorry silk tie as the closure. And because I needed it to have a little more rigidity and this paper is quite thin, I actually laced some of these on uh, a, an extra time to give a little more uh, oomph to the, to the spine. This is just blank paper. And this one does have the primary end band that you have seen before, which is just, you know, solid color with a bead on the spine. <clears throat> this does have the yapped edges. Those are the folded over edges in the front to sort of protect the book and uh, text block. And when you put the ties around, this prevents the ties from wrinkling up the paper. And then uh, you may have recently seen uh, a video where I have been experimenting with fish leather. And this is a 
a suede carp and there's several things I've played around on this book. This is a total experiment and um, a couple of things that I like, several things I don't like. Anyway, uh, the leather, this, this fish leather is really rough on the back so I ended up lining it with a, a piece of uh, card I had colored. Uh, I wanted to do this kind of a, a tie that would hold this flap down and the, I love this kind of a braided leather. Um, I'll have to demonstrate that at some point and I had to figure out how to adhere it to the book because this is a non-adhesive binding. I wasn't going to glue it or whatever. And so I ended up running it through the spine just like you do the, the thongs that you're uh, that you have used for your text block and uh, I had an extra hole here because I my laces and there were too many laces uh, but I wasn't really sure about these turn ins and how to handle them so this is sewn on this one actually tore through because I had cut it at a little bit different angle that worked okay but I need to experiment some to figure out how to do that but this is surprisingly for the fact that it's just laced through the cover and then laced one more time in it's in there and didn't go anywhere so I was really glad about that um, the uh, the covers are, are you know the, out of vellum I did like that I narrowed down what's called a square. That's the overhang at the front and the back and I like this version where there's not such a wide gap here. I even like this side better. Um, and so I'm going to try to get that tighter as I continue my experimentation. The other thing I wasn't wild about here is, is on the back I really wish that this end paper which is hooked onto the last section of the text block had been long enough maybe to come out here and cover some of this up once again because this was an experiment I didn't have everything totally worked out and I, I think that that could be prettier in the back but anyway I will continue to experiment and share with you uh, what is happening as I go along I think these uh, lip bindings just offer a lot of room for creativity and like I said, they tr it's a good little travel book, and um, I can just see a lot of potential for all sorts of things. So have a great day, and I'll see you again later.